I want to thank you for having me. That's the first thing about this friendship. I just saw the thing. I saw Brunt Ford, and I knew this other guy used to come. So I was like, you know, I want to try. I want to try that out. So I'm surprised that she actually. How do you hook this thing up? Yeah, you gotta make it taller. There we go. Like set up straight. I want to use this thing. I tried holding it and then at this other performance. Alright, so first of all, thank you for having me. That's one right there. Um, my name is Kente Little. It's nice to be here. You can follow me on Instagram at poetically underscore minded. I know some of you are already follow me, so that's pretty nice. I'll make sure I go home and follow you back. <laughs> also, Miguel, I may want to talk to you later about that therapy. Yes. Because, yes, yes. There's this girl on my phone. I've been trying to get her to text me back for like three weeks. Well, I got a two session. Uh, I, I help you open that. You got to help me out. I'm, you know how people say they got that voice in their head that say it's beautiful and stuff? Sometimes I got that. I walk past the mirror, and I got to take a double take. You go past the mirror, and you got to look back like, damn, like, I'm not gay, but if I was. <laughs> and then other days, I have just a bad voice in my head. I see a girl I want to go talk to, I'm like, hey, how you doing? There's a voice in my head that's like, rejection. You just hear that. So, you know, I might have a girl to talk to. This poem is called, I Had a Dream. And um, I just finished this one. I, mean, I gotta focus, because it's supposed to be serious. I don't want to smile too much. I've been here for like an hour, I'm still shivering. <laughs> I had a dream that we wouldn't look around, see people starving, and ask, why did it come to this? Amen. We wouldn't see oppression and be able to do nothing more than pray for justice. We wouldn't see someone of a different skin tone and kick them from the precipice of greatness. I had a dream that we'd actually help one another. That what's up, bro, would actually mean what's up, my brother. That as much as I would die for yours, you would die for my mother. I had a dream that we'd actually listen to one another. We'd listen to both sides of the story before we start killing each other. And you wouldn't have to be special to grow up with a father. And wrong would be wrong despite the skin tone you hiding under. I used to dream of. As I got older, I started dreaming differently. See, I killed this guy and hid his body in my closet secretly. Now I dream dreams that are almost attacking me. Like, how am I going to change the world if I can't even change men? And I used to go crazy, thinking I was the only one. I can't make eye contact because I'm ashamed of some of the things I've done. I don't want you to look too long because you might see my soul and then you understand why I don't really want mine no more. But at least I admit I got dirty laundry that needs to get clean. See, most people justify skip marks on their jaws because somehow their shit's clean. <laughs> they act like they don't know the meaning of hypocrisy. Look down on the world because they're born in a democracy, but can't explain how we ended up with a Bush dynasty. Mm. Chin so high, they approach nothing humbly. You go against the grain, they will all call you crazy. You go against the grain, they will all call you crazy. See, of course. See, that's because of COVID. Let me, let me restart. Let me restart. Okay. Act like they don't know the meaning of hypocrisy. Look down on the world because they're born in a democracy, but can't explain how we ended up with a Bush dynasty. Chin so high, they approach nothing humbly. You go against the grain, they will all call you crazy. They say they want the truth, but they're not really about their honesty. If it's not what they want to see, then it's not the true story. Listen, this is what's happening. I know you're not supposed to say Trump's name in a sentence with the word good. But $30 billion could have went a long way in my neighborhood. I'm not saying we in a hurricane, but we still being rained on. And everybody I see has an identity, a community with an umbrella they can hide under. I can't express who I am, let alone who's my brother. And everywhere I look, the closest thing I get to is the word nigger. Because everybody says it, but we know you're not a real nigger. Unless your great grandfather happened to be born a field nigger. I used to dream, but as I got older, I started dreaming differently. See, I killed this guy and hid his body in my closet secretly. Now I dream dreams that are almost attacking me. Like, how am I gonna change the world if I can't even change me? If I'm being honest, if I'm being honest, when I see oppression, I feel bad for the oppressed. 
But some nights I imagine if the positions were reversed and I don't see too much of a difference in the universe. Listen. I'm listening, baby. <laughs> Why don't we both have two if I can have three and you have one? Yeah. Why don't we both have two if I can have four and you have none? Mm. See, I swear this is tattooed in our DNA. It's funny, I was watching these two kids playing the other day. See, one kid, he took all the toys and he didn't want to share. Fighting so hard to keep the toys from the other kid, he was losing hair. Fighting like he couldn't lose them toys, without them toys, he didn't know what he'd do. So I asked him, hey kid, deep down are you afraid that if the other kid ever get his hands on them toys, he'd never share with you? It's funny how the cycle goes on. Until your father or somebody comes along. He takes all the toys away from him and tell him what they're doing was wrong. Give him one toy, make him share, so they'll get along. But turn his back for two seconds and look again, they singing the same song. Mm. See, it's funny, we don't have nobody to come through. Wipe all the life from the earth except a very few. See, watch when we need each other, we'll be a family. It's sad we need the pain and the chaos to reach the harmony. But what's even sadder is that if you give us a couple centuries, we'll go right back to being each other's worst enemy. Mm. I used to dream, but as I got older, I started dreaming differently. See, I killed myself and I hid myself in a closet secretly. Now I dream dreams that keep on reminding me that I can't change the world until I learn to change me. Thank you. All right, this one is called Heartless. So I, um, I wasn't gonna do this one at first, but you know, I saw we had more time, so I was like, I'm gonna do this one. Now this one is about a girl, not the one that won't touch me back. I, I, yes. I deleted her number. It's sad when you delete the person's number and then you want they text you back and you don't know who it is now. So now you're like. That's what's sad though. When you text them who this, now they like you now. Like, when I was trying to give you attention, you know I did. Now I don't know who you are. You all want to be my friend now. Okay. <laughs> also, ladies, ladies, I want, I want to know that as a guy, please, like, do me a favor. If I'm an outside in public with a girl, I don't like if she like friends on me in front of everybody. So some, if somebody asks who I am, don't be like, oh, he's just my friend, and then go talk to all the other dudes and give me a number. Like, I'll fuck him up for you. Like, you wanna fight? Slide, let me know where you at. Secretly. Don't I'll be like, oh, he's just my friend. Like, you? Because you my rogue. You let me know where she at, I'll fuck her up. <laughs> and that's trash. Ain't nobody gonna mess with my man. Thank, thank you. I meet a guy who goes to the show it's with a girl, and somehow she ends up giving her number to the dude down. performing. And I'm just <laughs> I say it right there. I, you know, I think it's partly because, like, I grew up outside of America for some time, so I didn't learn you're not supposed to say certain things. I'm sorry. So, like, you know, I'm too honest sometimes. You have I to think, be yourself. That's, I mean, that's cool and everything. So, I don't know. The, there was, I think you were talking about the fur, right, in the last thing. Now, <laughs> I understand you're supposed to say things in, like, a smooth way. I don't have a smooth way of saying it, so it just comes out just straight comes out wrong. Like, I like you. Next, you don't know how many girls I told them I wanted to bite them in the neck. Now, you know what I, mean? I like you on a bike ride. Exactly. Sex. Sex now. That's, that's my cool. I'd be like, hey girl, when the lights go out, I'm going to bite you on your neck. I'd be like, what? You think I'd be like, what? You hungry or something? I'm hungry for some you, girl. You got to bite them in their neck. Bite them in their neck. All right. Let me, let me do this for like yeah, See, I think about these things all the time. Like, funny as fuck. Thank you. I, I should be a comedian, so I should start writing jokes. Yeah. 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 The sad thing is that I feel like sometimes when you write to me jokes, you're too funny. Girls don't think you can be in a serious relationship. So they just see you as a funny no, guy. that's not true. My girlfriend still likes me, and I don't know how to be serious. Thank you. Well, I'm still so I mean, and I laugh at funerals. If I was being completely like, honest, though. I'm still single, so I don't know what you're talking about. And I don't know why you love me. Thank you, thank you.